okay so when we deep dive into bone marrow transplant there are two types of bmt that are happening one is autologous the other is allogenic so how do we differ uh, these types yeah it's a brilliant question so autologous stem cell transplant means when the patient himself is a donor autologous stem cell transplant philosophy is you are giving some chemotherapy with a supra physiological dose that only bone marrow can't taken care of so if you give that chemotherapy particularly the your bone marrow will be totally dried up you may recover from the cancer but the patient will die from the total bone marrow failure so that is the reason we collect the stem cells from the patient body give the chemotherapy and we infuse the stem cell and allow the stem cell to recover so it is basically nowadays it is called high dose chemotherapy followed by stem cell rescue mm -hmm. so you are giving chemotherapy and rescuing the patient's marrow from the previously taken stem cells that is the way we call about autologous stem cell transplant so predominant in hematology oncology autologous stem cell transplant are used for multiple myeloma and the relapse setting of the lymphoma both hodgkin's lymphoma and a non hodgkin's lymphoma allogenic stem cell transplant is a very different type of this different type of treatment it is basically the donor is something someone else it can be fully matched family fully matched means hla matched that means of simple language that immune system is matched here one point i want to mention blood group matching is not necessary at all so family match one thing there are now multiple registries in the country where the HLA reports are there of the different normal healthy individuals. You can match with the patient that we call match unrelated donor. And obviously now we understand the importance of the haploidentical or half match donor transplant I commonly call. And we, our advances in clinical science is much, much beyond in scopes nowadays. And we know that how to tackle that and the results of the half match bone marrow transplantations also now almost equally good with a full match sibling donor. That is the difference between these two. So, so I think so. Allogenic stem cell transplantation we mostly consider for the marrow failure problems like a leukemia, like acute leukemia, AML, ALL, aplastic anemia, myelodysplastic syndrome, thalassemia, sickle cell anemia. So these are the diseases we can manage with the allogenic stem cell transplantation.